Hello, welcome to Living Strong Adventures. I'm Douglas, your host for today, stepping in on behalf of Peter Lishiaga. As some of you may know, Peter had his second hip replacement just three days ago, and while he's doing well, his home studio is freezing cold right now. Peter wisely decided not to risk his recovery by recording in those conditions, so he asked me to step in and bring you today's message. Now, while you're hearing my voice, these words, reflections, and insights come straight from Peter himself. Today, he wants to talk about staying committed to the process, a principle that's guiding him through this very moment in his recovery journey. Three days ago, Peter took a major step forward with his second hip replacement. It's been a bit rough, as you'd expect, but Peter's body is in full recovery mode. He's sleeping a lot, which is exactly what his body needs right now, and he's been following his surgeon's orders to the letter, getting up every hour to walk for five minutes. Here's the exciting part. Peter is not in pain. He hasn't needed any painkillers, and that's a huge win. It's a reminder of how incredible the human body is when you give it the space and care it needs to heal. Peter shared with me how this phase of his recovery is teaching him patience. Sure, he'd love to be back in full motion, but this quieter, slower part of the journey is just as important. In his own words, this is where the foundation is built. Peter often talks about how true growth happens not in the big, flashy moments, but in the consistent daily effort. Right now, those small walks, the stretches, and even the time spent sleeping are all part of the process. It's not glamorous, but it's essential. Peter wanted me to highlight two things that are helping him through this recovery. Courage and patience. Courage isn't about being fearless. It's about showing up even when things are uncertain. And patience? That's about trusting the work, even when progress feels slow. He also shared something that I think will resonate with many of you. The importance of celebrating small wins. For Peter, those wins are things like walking a little further than he did yesterday, or simply feeling stronger when he gets up. These victories may seem small, but they're proof that progress is happening, one step at a time. Now, setbacks are a part of any process, and Peter knows that better than most. But he doesn't see setbacks as failures. Instead, he sees them as opportunities to learn, adjust, and refine. It's the same approach he takes in martial arts. When a technique doesn't work, you don't give up. You tweak it, you practice, and you try again. Peter wanted me to ask you, what's a small step you can take today toward your goals? What's a small win you can celebrate right now? And are you giving yourself the grace to stay present in your journey? These questions aren't just about recovery, they're about life. Whatever you're working toward, whether it's healing, learning, or chasing a dream, Peter wants you to remember that commitment to the process is about showing up day after day and trusting that the small steps add up. As Peter continues to rest and rebuild, he invites you to join him in embracing the process. He's been reflecting deeply on these principles, and if you'd like to read more, head over to his blog at peterlichiaga.com, where he's sharing his thoughts and insights in more detail. Thank you for spending this time with me today. On behalf of Peter, I'll leave you with his signature reminder. Stay courageous, stay patient, and as always, live strong. Oh.